So this is our agony aunties, but I thought I would update our listeners. I I don't really like talking about me, but I think this would be a good a place as any to say what's going on because I've had a bit of a roller coaster health wise the last couple of weeks. I broke my shoulder skiing and that wasn't brilliant, but it was very I hoped predictable. But then I came back and the impact of the break meant I got shingles and I got a particular variant called Ramsey Hunt syndrome. I also had a bad operation, so I'm having a replacement, shoulder replacement surgery tomorrow. So why I'm telling our lovely listeners is because Ramsey Hunt isn't a quick fix. I saw the ENT consultant this morning. I was very lucky that I was able to see a consultant so quickly and I feel very grateful for that. And my face, for you watching, is like on the left side. It, it, six is completely frozen and naught is on your normal and mine's five. And what I've understood is it can take up to a year, 18 months to get my mobility back. And there's a chance I'll only get 60 to 70 percent back or, or less. So I don't I don't know. So that's quite a hit. But what I want to say is it does not affect my capacity to think, to feel, to use my wisdom, to use my knowledge, to do the pod. But listeners will just have to be a bit more patient with me because I sound, I think I sound like I've just been to the dentist or that I'm drunk. You don't sound drunk. You do what sound do a I? bit like you, you do sound a bit like you've just been to the dentist. But, and I would say, I mean, and maybe this is wrong, that n- not only has it like doesn't affect your brain in any way, I actually think that challenging experience also, it's like a shit way to learn stuff, but you do also learn stuff. Yes. I mean, I've already learned quite a few things I wish I didn't want to learn. It's so strange, the whole thing, because I've had difficult experiences and bad news and difficulties that I've faced in my life. I've also had enormous luck and gifts, which I appreciate. But the thing that... Uh, and I've worked with a lot of people who have terrible health diagnoses. So at one level, I know what I'm likely to be going through. And of course, it's a different level when it's subjective. I think the two big things I've taken, which I think is that love and kindness really makes an enormous difference. You children have been incredible. Michael's been incredible. My friends have been incredible. But also in the sort of quality of the kindness, like being tender and sensitive and not jumping in to fix, but listening to me fully and letting me be upset. But also I had some doctors in France who were really brutal, who really made what was already bad much worse. And I've had doctors who are incredibly sensitive and kind. It completely changes your experience. And so maybe that's something that I want to think about. When I was at St Mary's 25 years, I was teaching doctors how to break bad news and working with doctors. So it's an area I've always been interested in. But it feels like an area for a campaign. But I certainly haven't got the energy for that right now. I think it is a campaign that you have done. It is. It's been part of your life work, actually. Yeah, Um, I changed the practice in paediatrics. Yeah, Mm. exactly. So I think you're just on the receiving end of it in this very real way right now. I think for me, it's really hard seeing you in pain and and it's scary, like pain is scary. Diagnosis is that you don't have a definite outcome, which most diagnoses are, right? Like it's hard for doctors to know exactly what's going to happen. I think that has been really, I just want to constantly just give you a hug. I know Um, you do, which I love. And... I also think there's something about when you've been lucky in the way that we have been to have your physical health, that that there's some real psychological blow to suddenly feeling fragile, like suddenly feeling like I can't, this thing that I have relied on my whole life that's like really been a bit of a banker. It's just whatever's happened, you can generally just get up and keep going. Suddenly that is being put to the test and then and questioned and I think that is incredibly difficult it is difficult and 
I've been on the steroids and the antivirals and that's messed with my brain. So it's like I feel like a miasma kind of puddle of myself. And I look at myself from just a few days ago where I was like functioning. And right now I have clarity, but I go in and out of it. And I hope it's the effing steroids, to be honest. Um, And the doctor said it was the steroids would be affecting it. Yeah, he did. So if I get my brain back, but also seeing people's faces of shock when they see how bad I look, and you know that's <laughs> I, I, that's you know hot, tough. But anyway, just to say to everybody, I, hang on, go back a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. It's like my mother. <laughs> yeah. being my mother. Like when you say it's tough, is it tough? Like you sort of see a. Ref- a reflection of what you look like in how they see you or like what what is the toughness oh my god you're such a fucking therapist em i know <laughs> terrible <laughs> the toughness is not looking like me and yeah. feeling distorted and misshapen and that is uncomfortable like that's not me well, it, it, it's not that so it's sort of, yeah, it sort of feels, um, it feels the version of me I am, but not the version of me I want to be. Yeah. And so the work is accommodating and recognizing that I hope it'll be a fast path to recovery, but it might not be, and it might not be fully recovered. That I'll just have to come to terms with it. That I'm going to have this half smile. But the bigger thing is the eye, because the eye doesn't blink, it stays open all the time. And so it gets quite sore and dealing with my eye having an issue I mean it's small in comparison to so many things and so many things people have but you know that'll take a bit of getting used to because I've yeah as you said my health I've been so lucky my whole life it's been a big part of my inner strength has been my physical strength and my mental strength and uh, I've been able to rely on it and now it feels fragile at the moment like a big adjustment i hope it's not too much for everybody i just thought i can't come out every week looking weird and not say anything i need to explain <laughs> <Good>. it <laughs> it would be quite funny she yeah. just turned up with like a pat and like a droopy yeah, face right. and just like oh, guys, oh, guys. <laughs> there's nothing to report here <laughs> there's nothing going on here and my and my and my um shoulder off yes no obviously i'm joking I know you're just it. But I feel very fond of all our listeners and very supported and our love. And thank you, my Pom. Love you.